the Weather Extreme video for Monday, October 26th, the morning edition. I'm James Spann. Very wet, breezy weather today, tonight, tomorrow, with the ghost of Patricia blowing through here. Let's dive in there and take a look at things. You can see the upper part of the system to the south and west of the state. This is the flow at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground, and a big mass of moisture in place over our state. That's a larger look at the uh, rain, a larger view and you can see it's raining over almost all of Mississippi, most all of Alabama at daybreak. That was the uh, Birmingham radar at 513 this morning. You can see a few spots in East Alabama not getting rain yet, but by the time you watch this, you will be. Every square inch of the state will get a good, slow, steady soaking uh, between now and early Wednesday morning, which is basically what we need. Uh, for our end of the state, it's, it's a good rain. No severe weather, no flash flooding. However, down to the south, uh, there's flash flood watches in effect for the far southern part of the state, Washington, Escambia, Mobile, Baldwin, Covington, and Geneva counties. And uh, we also note a wind advisory up to uh, Sumter, Greenhale, Perry, Autauga, and then counties to the south where winds of 25 to 35 miles per hour are possible today. And we should also note there's a marginal severe weather risk on the Gulf Coast. There could be a few small water spouts or tornadoes in that uh, region today. But the bigger threat is the heavy rain for them. Tomorrow, no severe weather threat. There could be some thunder in a few spots around here, but mostly just rain. And on day three, which is Wednesday, a marginal severe weather risk way up north in parts of Ohio with this large uh, upper low that's over the Great Lakes. Rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday morning. Pretty good bit. Let's take a look at higher resolution uh, data here. This is, all, again, from WPC. And uh, it's got the uh, bullseye down around Fort Walton Beach at six and a half inches. Up this way, rain amounts uh, between oh, two and three inches. And again, this is valid for the next five days. But the bulk of this will be today, tomorrow, and tomorrow night. Let's go through the uh, daily process here with the modeling. This is the GFS, the 06C run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time at 500 millibars. You can see the ghost of Patricia approaching from the southwest. And, you know, if, if this were maybe another situation, you'd think that's a tropical storm coming up into Louisiana. The effects are about the same. Uh, wind, a lot of rain, a few uh, isolated tornadoes and water spouts near the Gulf Coast. We actually had uh, one yesterday at Gulf Shores. So, obviously, it's going to rain most all day today. Temperatures sit in the 60s all day. And a pretty good gradient, so it's going to be pretty breezy. We'll see a steady east wind averaging 15 to 25. Tomorrow, the surface low weakens a little bit. It's still east of the state, or I'm sorry, west of the state over Mississippi. And again, it just looks like a rainy day. Could there be some breaks? Yes, but it should rain most of the day. There's a very wet period here today, tonight, and tomorrow. And again, no severe weather. Uh, the wind not quite as bad tomorrow. The pressure gradient uh, relaxes it a bit. And then Wednesday, that thing gets absorbed by that very deep vortex over the Great Lakes, 993 millibars. Uh, the old uh, Witch of November, if you will. Uh, the, the, a similar type setup sank the Edmund Fitzgerald back in the 70s. But you can see for us on Wednesday, the... Uh, uh, the rain should begin to taper off during the day. There could be some lingering light rain, maybe Wednesday morning, and I think the sky stays cloudy all day, but uh, not as much rain on Wednesday. The weather begins to improve. Uh, a decent chance we go back in the low, maybe mid-70s. And then Thursday, we should be in pretty good shape. However, there is a cold front lined up from near Pittsburgh down to about Cullman and Jackson, Mississippi. And uh, the GFS almost hints that there might be a shower with that front. I think the moisture will be long gone. I, I don't think it rains on Thursday. I guess at some point as we get closer, if we keep seeing that, we might have to mention some risk of isolated showers with that front. But for now, we'll keep it dry, partly sunny with mid-70s. And Friday looks like a beautiful day. Uh, sunny, pleasant. We start the day around 50. The high will be in the 70s. There's no chance of rain here. All right, Halloween fans. What's that weekend going to do? This is Saturday, October 31st. New trough to the west. Down below that, another big rain event for parts of Texas. And the rain begins to move in here, it looks like, perhaps Saturday afternoon. So if you are wanting to do something outdoors Saturday, at this moment it looks like you might want to do it early in the day. And then Saturday night, 
You got a 1,005 millibar low that's around uh, Paris, Texas, and a pretty good rain event here. This could be a good rain. The Gulf is wide open. There might be some thunderstorms with this. Uh, the instability is always somewhat of a question in a pattern like this, but uh, this could mean the little ghosts and goblins and ghouls wanting to trick-or-treat on Saturday night could very well be wet. Uh, Friday night looks fine. And again, at the moment, Saturday morning looks okay, but that just looks wet. And then this is Sunday, and we're still wet with a surface low north and west of the state. So we'll deal with rain at times for sure over the weekend, especially Saturday night and Sunday. And then a week from today, that feature lifts out and we start to dry out. Maybe a lingering shower with a high in the 70s. Here's the end of the forecast Wednesday of next week. This is uh, November 4th. Look at that uh, upper high building over us and a big trough in the western states. Very high amplitude. And for us, that would suggest uh, dry conditions and certainly no cold air. You want the cold air, look in the Rockies. It is a big snow going on out there all across the Rockies. That'll be the biggest snow so far this season if that verifies. And you can see highs, 60s and 70s and lows, mostly in the 50s for us over the course of the next 15 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.